Hello, hello, my name is Marsha Nuts, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to make the candy stripe bracelet. The candy stripe bracelet is extremely beginner friendly. In fact, a lot of people, including myself, start with this bracelet. I don't recommend doing that. I recommend starting with the classic chevron bracelet instead, for which I also have a tutorial, and I'll link that in the card and in the description for you. Now there is a reason why I don't recommend starting with this bracelet. As you can see, all of the knots are in the same direction here. This bracelet only uses one type of knot, which is the forward knot. And because of that, you might think that this is the perfect bracelet to start with. And I'll agree with you, this is easier than the chevron bracelet. However, with the chevron bracelet, you're only adding one extra type of knot, which is the back backward knot. And for someone who's starting out, practicing both the forward knot and the backward knot at the same time can be really beneficial. As I said, I started with the classic candy stripe bracelet, and I started making them with forward knots. And I practiced the candy stripe so much that I got so used to the forward knot that by the time I started making backward knots, I really couldn't get the hang of it. And even now, 13 years later, I still favor the forward knot because of that. I know, of course, that if something didn't work for me, it doesn't mean that it necessarily won't work for you. So if you want to start with the candy stripe bracelet, if that feels more comfortable for you, definitely do that. I just wanted to explain my reasoning on that one and also point you in the direction of another cool bracelet that you can try. In this tutorial, we're gonna be using forward knots and there'll be a sprinkle of backward knots in an alternate way of starting this bracelet. But don't worry, I'll explain how to do those. If you need a more in-depth tutorial, however, I do have that. It's called the Basic Knots Tutorial and I'll leave that linked in the description as well. I also have a video called The Beginner's Guide, which contains a lot of information that might be helpful for you as a beginner. Before I start, I want to quickly remind you that I wrote a book! The Beginner's Guide to Friendship Bracelets comes out on August 23rd in the US and about a month later everywhere else in the world, and you can pre-order it now anywhere you typically buy books. It's a collection of photo tutorials aimed at beginners that will take you from the basics all the way to the advanced stuff. And if you pre-order through my publisher, the link to that is in the description, you can get the paperback and the ebook as a bundle. If you do pre-order, make sure to enter the giveaway by sending a screenshot of your proof of purchase to my publisher at rockynook.com friendship. The book is coming out so soon now and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. All right, all of that being said, let's finally get into this tutorial. So I chose three colors for this bracelet and I decided that I'm going to do a loop. You can choose as many colors as you want and you can start with a loop like me, or you can just cut your strings and do an overhand knot and make some ties afterwards. If you wanna do that, each string would be about one meter in length. If you're gonna do a loop like me, your strings should be two meters in length because you're folding them. So I decided to do three colors, one string per color, two meters in length, folded them in half. So I'm gonna make the beginner's loop. To do that, I'm just gonna make an overhand knot roughly here. To make the overhand knot, you put one piece of string over the other and put this one under the loop and through it, like so. And then carefully tighten that knot. You wanna make sure that you like the size of the loop because you can't really change it once you've started the bracelet. And if that demonstration wasn't clear enough and you need a more in-depth tutorial on the overhand knot, I have a very in-depth tutorial on the basic knots, which I will leave in the card and in the description. You can see that some strings are kind of sticking out here. So I'm gonna carefully one by one pull on these strings to tighten that up. Next, I'm gonna secure my strings to my workspace by taping them down. To make that easier, I'm just gonna loop some strings through the loop here, just so I have some extra strings to grip onto so I can tape those down as well. So now that I've done the loop, I've got two strings per color. You need to arrange your strings in the order that you wanna see them within the bracelet. So for my order, I want the dark purple, medium purple, then the light purple, and then for that color to repeat again, dark purple, medium purple, light purple. You can do it like this, and then you'll have one stripe per color, or, if you prefer wider stripes, you can double up on the colors. So do two colors of the first color, two colors of the second color, two colors of the third color. It will still be the same color order, it'll just be two stripes per color. For this bracelet, I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna leave the colors arranged how I arranged them originally. All right, so now that the colors are arranged, we can start making the bracelet. This bracelet can be done with forward knots or with backward knots. I'm going to be demonstrating with forward knots. So for that, I'm gonna be taking the outermost string from the left side and doing forward knots along each of these strings individually until I reach the end. If you were to do it with backward knots, you would take the outermost string on the right side and do the same, but with backward knots. So for forward knots, take the string on the left and let's do forward knots on each of these strings individually. Now I do have a separate tutorial for forward knots. If you want a more in-depth explanation about the function of all of the knots, what they do and how to make them, but I will also be showing you here. Grab the string you're making the knot onto in your pinky just to keep it tight. Grab the string you're making the knot with and loop it around your extended index finger. The resulting shape kind of resembles a four with this string over that one. Now extend your index finger on your right hand, put it into the loop 
under the string, grab this string with your nail, like so, twist it and pull it through. You're basically wrapping the string around like so and pull it up carefully. Now that is one half of a forward knot. We need to do the exact same thing again to finish the knot. So again, this string is going over this one in the shape of a four. Extend your finger, put it in the loop, under the string, over this string, grabbing it with your nail, twist it, pull it through. See how that's wrapped around? That's really all we're doing. Now let's tighten that knot up again. And there we go, the first knot is complete. Grabbing the second string. Let's make a forward knot onto this one. So again, I'm grabbing it with my pinky finger and I'm doing the forward knot. I'm gonna do it a little bit faster this time. Tighten that up, that's one half, and do it again. There we go, that knot is now also complete. Let's grab the third string. And once again, let's do the forward knot. And the same thing on the fourth and the fifth strings. All right, there we have it. The first row is now complete. That first stripe has been made and see how this string traveled all the way from the left side to the right side. That is literally it. That is all you need to do for this bracelet. You're gonna repeat that motion again and again and again. You grab this next string, the one that's now the outermost on the left side, and you're gonna do the same thing, forward knots along each of these strings individually, but now this one as well. You're gonna include that one. Once that one is done, you grab the next one and do the same thing, forward knots along each of these strings until the end. Also one thing to note, see how the knots are kind of bunching up here? That's because we did an overhand knot and the strings were all pushed together into that one tight space and now that we're trying to separate them out, they're kind of struggling. It's going to be a struggle for the beginning. When you're trying to start a bracelet after an overhand knot, they all get bunched up at the start. So don't worry about that. As long as you keep doing the correct knots and doing them in the correct order of strings, that's very important. Make sure your string order is always the color waves that you wanna see. It should sort itself out. I'm also going to show you how to avoid that in a little bit. But first, let me show you how to make this row one more time, just so you have extra clarity on that. And then we'll get to that. All right, so this time we've had a color change. We're working with the middle purple string now. This time, I'm not going to be showing you forward knots like this, which is how I demonstrate them. I like to demonstrate them this way because I feel like it shows clarity of what the loop is actually doing and how your finger should be kind of working. Different people have different ways of doing forward and backward knots. Not everyone does them exactly the same way I do. This is just how I do them, and so this is how I demonstrate. But let me show you how I do them quickly when it's just me, because I don't always extend my finger and loop it around like that. When it's just me, I do my knots like this. I use this hand to hold the string, not necessarily just my pinky, just the hand, and then I use a combination of my thumb and my index finger to do the knot, like so. I'll show you one more time. So I'm still kind of doing that four shape. As you can see, I'm just kind of using my index finger and my thumb to do it. Now you don't have to do that, absolutely. Do whatever you're comfortable with. I just wanted to show you both ways. The starter way and then sort of the way that I actually do it once I get into making bracelets. So there you go, you can see that all I am doing is I'm taking that first string that was on the outermost edge and I'm just making forward knots along each of these strings individually, one by one, until I reach the edge. And now I just made a forward knot on that first string that we worked with. So now to continue the bracelet, we would do the same thing again. We would take the outermost string and do forward knots along each of these strings individually, including the one that we just brought out as well. So I'll leave you there. I'm gonna go finish this bracelet off camera and I'll see you once that is done. But also I wanna to talk to you about a different way of starting this bracelet, which is a little bit more advanced but oh so fun. So for this bracelet, I don't want to do a loop. I want to do what's called a half triangle end. Now that might sound scary and you might kind of already know what that is, but I promise you it's not. I have an in-depth tutorial on triangle ends and I have a follow-up video called More on Triangle Ends, which kind of looks at more in-depth cases. I'll leave both of those videos linked in the description if you want to see them, but I'll also demonstrate here and I promise it's not hard. So you're gonna to wanna to leave 10 to 15 centimeters of string for the ties and secure your bracelet from that point. And for this technique, you don't even need to arrange your strings in any kind of fashion. We are, however, going to be bringing them out in a specific order. So choose the order of your colors. And again, same thing. You can do your colors one by one. So go through 
all of the colors in order and then go through them again if you've got two strings per color or if you want to double up on that stripe you can go with both colors at the same time which is what I'm going to be doing here. So my first color is this sort of dark teal. I'm going to do a backward knot with this string onto this entire bundle at the same time. And again, a backward knot, I do have an in-depth tutorial on it, which is linked, but a backward knot is just the reverse of a forward knot. So you've got sort of an inverse four shape going on here. And we're gonna put our finger in the loop under the string, the entire bundle of it. T grab that string with our nail, twist it and pull it through and then pull it up. That's one half of a backward knot. Let's do that same thing again to complete the knot. There we go, that's one backward knot done. And again, as I said, I wanna double up on the stripes here, so I'm gonna bring the same color out again. The string we brought out, let's put it off to the side, we're not touching this one anymore. We're leaving it alone. But this string is gonna do a backward knot on the entire remaining bundle. Then we grab the next color, excluding these two strings. This next color is gonna do a backward knot on the entire bundle. And we're gonna continue doing that, doing backward knots on the bundle and bringing the strings out in the order that we wanna see them in the bracelet until we run out of strings. And remember, each string that we bring out is gonna be ignored in the next knot. So every time we bring out a string, we leave it off to the side. We don't make a knot onto it next time. We just continue doing this one by one. And there we go, now all of these strings are out in the order that I wanna see them in the bracelet. And I'm ready to start making knots now. And this will be the same exact thing, I'm taking the outermost string on the left and doing forward knots along each of the rest of the strings until I reach the end. I'm gonna speed through this since I already explained it. And there we go, that first row is now complete. And you can already tell that this is a much cleaner start than when we just did the overhand knot because once we do the overhand knot, it does kind of bunch up at the start. That's what I tell you guys always, just to not be worried about that. It does bunch up at the start. But that is why I prefer to do triangle ends, half triangle ends, loops, teardrop loops, all of that kind of stuff. And you can see that I use this technique in a lot of other bracelets that I do because it creates a nice clean start without any strings bunching up. It's fairly easy to do and it results in a beautiful start. A tutorial on this bracelet is also available by the way, and you can see it uses a lot of those candy stripe rows. This might be a little bit difficult if you're just starting out, but you can work your way up to this one, I'm sure. I'll leave it linked in the card and in the description if you wanna try this one at some point later. So yeah, those are two ways you can start your candy stripe. I of course prefer this one, but I understand how it can be a little bit challenging and a little bit confusing if you are just starting out. So I wanted to demonstrate both ways. I'm gonna go finish these bracelets off camera and we'll chat once I'm done. All right, so now my bracelet is complete. I'm gonna show you how to finish the same way that we started. Grab the two strings on the left and do a backward knot between them. Now grab the next string, which is this yellow string, and do a backward knot with this yellow string onto both of these strings at the same time as a bundle. Then grab the next string and do a backward knot on the entire bundle. And you can already sort of see that forming. You're gonna continue doing that, grabbing each string one by one and doing a backward knot on the bundle until you run out of string. And there you go, your end is finished, and now you're ready to create ties. And there we go, this is what the candy stripe bracelet ends up looking like. I've got a bunch of different varieties here. I filmed a mini tutorial for my TikTok account as well. I'm doing a series of mini tutorials on there, so feel free to follow me on there if you don't already. Let me know in the comments which you prefer. Do you prefer the single stripes or the double stripes? I'm curious. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely leave a comment if there's something you didn't understand. I'll try to answer as many as I can. And before I go, I wanna remind you that I wrote a book. The Beginner's Guide to Friendship Bracelets comes out on August 23rd in the US and about a month later everywhere 
everywhere else in the world and it's available for pre-order now. If you pre-order, make sure to send a screenshot with your order confirmation to my publisher at rockynook.com slash friendship to be entered to win in the giveaway. I'm very excited, the book is coming out so soon now. Can't wait for you all to see it. Before I go, I also wanna give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters. Thank you so, so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. If you also wanna become a patron and support the work I do on this channel, the link to that is in the description. But in any case, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.